Hello, we are looking at the IV characteristics of a solar cell. We have seen some parameters such as short circuit current, ISC, open circuit voltage, VOC and uh, MPP maximum power point and now we move forward with other parameters. So welcome to Decreations Resources. Let us talk about two more characteristics namely the fill factor which is also abbreviated as FF and the efficiency. So fill factor is a parameter which is uh, in conjunction with VOC and ISC which we just spoke about in the previous segment. So that determines the maximum power from a solar cell. Now the fill factor is, uh, is a ratio. Ratio of what? Ratio of the maximum power from the solar cell to the product of VOC and ISC. So maximum power we just saw that it is the product of VMP and IMP. So and uh, if you want to look at this fill factor in terms of a ratio it will look as VMP IMP divided by VOC ISC. So ratio of these two products correspondingly. Now graphically if you understand fill factor is measure of the squareness of the solar cell. Uh, so, if you imagine the area of the largest rectangle which will fit in the IV curve, it is going to be the fill factor. Now, next more uh, a very important parameter is the efficiency. So, efficiency as the name suggests that it is basically going to be the ratio between maximum electrical power that the array can produce and the ratio is going to be with respect to amount of solar irradiance hitting the array. Now depending on the photovoltaic type, the, the efficiency varies. So whether it's monocrystalline, polycrystalline, amorphous, thin film, etc. etc. So when you talk about efficiency, you are basically comparing the performance of one solar cell to another. As al already told, it is the ratio of energy output from the solar cell to input energy from the sun. And in addition uh, to reflecting the performance of the solar cell itself, it talks about the performance, right? That okay, this is the input solar energy and how much output in terms of electrical energy are you giving? Now, the efficiency basically is going to depend on the spectrum and intensity of the incident sunlight and temperature of the solar cell. So, Efficiency depends on all these factors, but of course, from the practical point of view, it is the most important uh, parameter that one can talk about. Now, usually when an experiment is done to measure IV characteristics of solar cell in a laboratory, um, they use some kind of an incandescent lamp. So. Uh, when you say the apparatus for this experiment along with the solar cell and uh, multimeter or voltmeter, ammeter, wires, potentiometer, etc. You need that incandescent lamp and uh, once you uh, illuminate the solar cell with it, then you can vary the parameters and then you are able to uh, determine the points for corresponding to current and voltage. So when you plot them, basically you will get your IV curve. And uh, then from the IV curve, you will be able to find out all the relevant parameters that we've been talking about, be it ISC or VOC and uh, M, uh, maximum power point, MPP, etc., etc. So uh, it's a, in laboratory, of course, you can even connect them in series and check out what happens to the voltage and current, if connect them in parallel and what happens to the voltage and current, etc. So when you connect them, for example, when you collect them in series, you'll see that the voltage is increasing. If suppose individually each solar cell is giving you 0.5 volt and you have three solar cells in series, Together they might give you voltage around 1.5 volt, but here the current is going to remain the same while the situation will reverse in case of parallel connection. So all those things you need to keep in mind when you are doing this experiment and finding out the IV characteristics of a solar cell.